What's up guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife here, and look at her beautifully curled hair, right? I did my makeup today. <laughs> are coming at you guys with great topics, tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, entice, and enhance your relationship to a whole nother level. Now don't worry, if you're single, these things will help you guys too. It'll just be in your future relationship coming up. And you'll have all the tools you'll need to have a hopefully a successful and long lasting relationship. And if you guys are in a relationship right now, use some of these things. Use it at your disposal. Don't wait for things to get bad. And if you want to look at all the other tips and tricks that me and Sharice have came up with or talked about in the past, then you guys can always go to our YouTube page, hit the subscribe button there, or even download the podcast and listen to them on the go. And you'll get all this great information that we've been talking about almost about two years now, I think, it's right? Been a while, yeah. It's been a long time, right? But with no further ado, let's talk about the topic that we have for this week. And it's a beautiful thing. It's going to be Father's Day today. Haha, <laughs> when you're seeing this, right? Yes. So Father's Day is a big, important, I think, holiday in the year because I'm a father. It's very important. Right? And um, obviously, June's also Men's Health Month. And I haven't heard this too much from anybody out there in the public. But I think it's something that we need to focus in on too as well. Because we do have Mother's Day and Women's Health Month, and that's important. And Father's Day and Men's Health Month is just as important, right? Because think about it. You wouldn't be here on this earth if two people didn't tango, right? A male and a female, okay? Tango. To produce you or that produced us right here on this beautiful planet. You know, actually, now that you bring that up, it's so funny because... You know, me and John, we did a tango dance too. And guess what showed up for his Father's Day gift? Peter John Sequoia. That's right. <laughs> Didn't he? He showed up one day. Was it on Father's Day that year? Yeah, so the first year he was born was on Father's How Day. How cool is that? Yeah. That your kid was born on Father's Day and you became a father, truly became a father with the born baby. Yes on father's day yeah that was cool yeah and now the only bad thing is, is that they got he's got to share a birthday with the father's day and it's like you know you got to share year. with daddy Not it doesn't year. matter it's, 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 it's at the weekend oh it's usually the weekend yeah. it's usually a couple days i'm seeing it's still his, yeah. it's it's a birthday father's day weekend so you know i'd be interested to see when peter has his kids how that works out. Oh. So you have a nice little double generation. The, the you know, grandfather must be here because it's Father's Day. Well, Should I mean, be interesting. It birthday, might, it Father's might go Day. in Peter's favor because Peter's birthday is before Father's Day. So when he becomes a father, he'll get his birthday present. And then two days later or a day later, whatever it is in that year, oh. he'll be like, listen, where's my Father's Day present? That's not how it goes. You know, you guys know what's going to happen. It's the combined gift. No. That, that's this usually your Christmas babies. Your Father's Day and that's why. slash birthday gift is here. <laughs> you're welcome, Peter. If you're a father and you're in this, this little tangle that we're <laughs> in, okay, require them to get you something or leave require you alone for the day or do something for you as a oh father, okay? Gosh. Require them. Go get some underwear. <laughs> but no, in all, in all seriousness, you know, Men's Health Month is a big month, yes. right? Father's Day is obviously an important day that we need to, you know, give a big shout out to all the fathers out there doing the right thing, right? Because anybody can become a father. Anybody can get a girl pregnant, but it takes a true man or a real father to stand by that and want to teach his, his young lady or his offspring the right way to be a man in this world. Um, and there's nothing wrong with being a man or being masculine in this world too. I, I see a lot of different things out there about that too. You know, masculinity is not toxic. Masculine, masculinity is what makes us men. There's masculine hormones. It's the, this is not toxicity right there. Um, you know, and it's a big thing because us men, you know, as, as we've evolved, right? We went from out there hunting, supplying all the food, breaking everything down for our families. 
Well, now we have, you know, we have women and they're equal in the same part where they can go do some of these different things too. We'll go shit a couple of things. But the men should always lead their pack, right? And they should always be the alpha of the pack, I think, and that's my opinion. Now, not to say there's old school Greek. not to say there's not women out there that can be alphas too as well. I never take that away from a woman. I never look down Listen, on a woman. I'm an alpha, right? right? I'm an alpha. I'm just not an alpha when I'm with John. John's the alpha That's when right. we're together. That's right. But outside of that, I'm the alpha. That's right. So I've come to this realization <laughs> after what 15 years. It's only Before taking that. me. <laughs> it's only taking me about 10 years, a decade to figure it out, right? Uh, how about I just make sure it was perfect at that point? You know, it's been it's been moving. It's a work in progress, right? It's always a work in progress. You can always be better, right? Yes, all absolutely. And this is everything you guys do across the board, even in relationships, which we're talking about today. So, you know. If you're in a relationship, obviously, if your partner is a father or the father of your child, obviously, hey, listen, you want to do something for Father's Day, right? Um, you know, mothers get their day and they get to do what they want. Fathers should be the exact same way. And, you know, a lot of times, like, dads don't really, we don't care about gifts. It's not about that, I don't think. I think it's really about spending time with your family, right? Um, and just going over, like, how happy you are. Just be, you know, you're blessed to have a family. Some guys out there or females, they never get that chance. They never get to have kids or whatever it may be. There's certain things that happen and it just doesn't work out that way, whether they're infertile or they just, you know, haven't found the right partner or just didn't come about that, right? So if you have that dad in your house, make sure you show him some love. If you're out of the house or, you know, your dad's not around you, give him a call, give him a text. Make sure you shout out and tell him how much you love him, right? And with Men's Health Month and Father's Day, let's talk about how their quality of life is. So, you know, majority of the time, like us dads, we take a lot of stress, you know? I mean, moms do too, right? Both in their different lights of what they do, so. Yeah, this abundance of stress. It's I an abundance of stress. That's what I'm talking about. Right. I'll take some. <laughs> it's like an abundance. It's an abundance of stress. <laughs> um, and you know, as we age and we get older, I mean, you know, different things happen to us guys. And, you know, I'm gonna talk about another topic today, you know, later on you know, in another scene that, we're talking about how men are more, more likely not to get checkups and why they don't get checkups. The right? breaths. Uh, yeah, right. you know, it's, it's an egotistical thing, like I'm a man or- Guys are being breaths. Most of the studies point that men think that they're more healthier than the other men out there and that's why they don't go get checkups majority of the time. That's dumb. So that's really your ego or you being uneducated. You know, it, it's a form of ignorance, right? Thinking that you know it and you're uneducated about it. And I'm not calling you ignorant or stupid. Why not be ahead of the game, right? Definitely being ahead. And you know, some people are like, well, I, I don't want to go in because I don't want to find anything wrong. Well, that's probably the worst excuse I ever hear from out of people's mouths. I hear it. Because at that point you want to go in and you want to make sure like you can find things at early stages if possible. Because if things keep going on and on and on, think about your car and you're driving down the street and you've got two tires out. Now eventually you're gonna keep going and if you're going 80 miles an hour, those tires are probably gonna come off, something else is gonna to happen to the vehicle and you're probably gonna break down and have a, or have a crash. So you don't want this to happen to your body as males. Um, and you know, us men, we don't have to deal with like menstrual cycles or anything like that, but we have to deal with everything else that goes on with our body. And there's yeah, a lot of things. Yeah, you guys get this really cool thing that happens. It's called a prostate exam. Ooh. And you guys have to do this thing where you get an exam with a finger. Now, just so you she know. She had to add, add that in. She, I had to. I, mean, I, I think she why likes this. Every, this every time a guy goes in for a prostate exam, she's laughing. <laughs> I love you guys. Hey, listen. Guy, oh, I got to make it. I, I, I have to make it. Listen, I've been, do, I've been in the medical field for, let's not stamp the age now because I'm not a day over 25. However, I have been in the medical field for <laughs> almost 18 years. That's a long time, right? So in that 18 years, I've seen a lot. I've, you know, experienced a lot of different situations, that kind of stuff. And I'm telling you guys, honestly, any guy that's over the age, and I'll give you guys a little bit of window, any guy that hits 45, if you hit 45, you need to get a prostate exam. Make sure you don't have an enlarged prostate. Make sure you get your PSA reading. It's important. It's really important. You guys skip it I, because you guys I don't agree. want to do it. I understand. You don't want to go in there and get the finger. That's fine. However, it's important. It's like super important. If we're going to talk about men's health, I agree. I'm I was telling going you, I was going these are things that are that are uh, they're skipped often, and it's because you just don't want to do it. That's fine. It's kind of like me, right? I don't want to go to the dentist. I hate the dentist. They have to put me to sleep just to clean my teeth. That's sad. However, I've had very, very bad experience with dentists. But I mean, it's the same thing, right? If I don't get my teeth cleaned, I'm probably going to end up in a bad situation yeah. with some sort of periodontitis. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows, right? So 
just make sure you get your prostate check. It's important. I know it's uncomfortable. You don't like it, whatever. But it might save your life. So on that note, prostate exams, yeah, are definitely recommended after 45. You know, usually you want to say 40s. And at that point, listen, you can also take a, a blood test first. Mm -hmm. And this might show if your prostate is enlarged, right? And you'll know right away. And then you can go get, you know, back up with the finger test and make sure everything's good to go. And there are other tests that are coming out for the prostate. So you guys won't have to get this possibly in the future. So right now it's not there, but it's, it's, it is almost there for, Hopefully, for men to is, be able to I mean, do we're this. We're 2022 now, guys. Come you know? on. Um, so at that point, that, that's a big one. And, you know, the reason that she brings up prostate, and I would definitely regard prostate, is because prostate cancer is on the rise too as well. Mm -hmm. The numbers keep getting higher and higher every year. So this is something that we need to look out for as, as us as males, because females don't have prostates. Us guys, we're the only guys that have prostates. So at that point, we need to check these things out. Make we sure make such a good. big deal about breast cancer, right? Yeah. So why would we not make a thing for prostate cancer? Yeah. It's the same thing. It's, just, it's, it's the same exact scenario, except breast cancer is for, me, for females yep. and prostate cancer is more in direction of males. Yeah. So, I mean, you got you to gotta bring it up, right? Yeah. Can't be scared to bring up topics that you don't want to discuss. And guys, males out there can get breast cancer too as well. 100%. Okay, so that's not just a female thing. That, that can be also be true with males out there too as well. So if your family has history of breast cancer on both sides and you're a male, this could possibly put you at a higher risk. You wanna make sure you, you're looking at these different things. Your family history and your health history are gonna to go together. Um, and even though you might not say, oh, well, I'm healthy right now. Now, if you have a lot of you know, issues with your family history on both sides, you're at higher risk for these different things. Um, so these are different things you need to look out for. Now, us as males, like I said, as we get older, we decline, our hormones, you know, they start becoming deficient or not optimal. And this causes us a lot of other issues out there. We're tired, right? Lethargic, brain fog, uh, you know, our metabolism is not what it used to be, you know? Uh, you know, you're eating and you're doing exercise, but you're not recovering either. And things just aren't moving on the scale or result wise. You know, you have to look at what's really going on inside. And a lot of people wait on this too. They just, they cover up these different symptoms like energy or lethargic and give it energy drinks or caffeine pills or whatever it is to cover up the symptoms. Band-aids. This is not getting to the root to the problem. Um, you know, you're covering up a bleeding wound with a band-aid like she's saying. And at that point, you really wanna make sure you're doing the diagnostics inside too as well. So what do I mean by that? So what I mean by that is, is doing a fully in-depth blood panel on yourself. Now, not normally one that you get from your general practitioner, um, you know, where it's testing your cholesterol, um, you know, your liver and your kidneys, and that's really about it. We're talking about different hormones, free and total testosterone levels, estrogen levels, progesterone levels, growth hormone levels. Plus, we want to make sure your PSA, your prostate is in check, and your liver, your kidney, and your cholesterol, and your full thyroid is in check too as well. Now, we can check for a whole bunch of other different things, but right now, we've got that Father's Day full blood panel package, which is usually $200, and we're doing it for $130 for all the dads out there, all the guys out there. We wanna make sure your guys' health's in check. And if your partner, right, is a male, and you wanna make sure they're good to go, right? Because I hope that you wanna be with your partner for a long time, and you want them to be the healthiest and feel the best. Because when your partner feels the best, they're gonna give you the best too as well. And that's just gonna make things better for your relationship all the way around. And Even girls, if you're a girl, right? Girls, you get checked too. Listen, and well, this and happens. if you mentioned Cupid's Corner, we'll discount your blood work. That's usually three hundred. We'll oh, discount wow. it down to the two hundred mark. Wow! Just if you mention Cupid's, Cupid's Corner, Cupid's Corner, and Sharice with the curls, because yep. you'll never see me. Like oh, that. there you go. So now I'll know you watch the episode. So guys. <laughs> Guys, take this as an important message to you to make sure you're keeping your health in check. It's number one investment. It's something that you need to take care of yourself and take care of your family in the future. If you're a wife, a fiance, a girlfriend, or just a friend of somebody that's a guy that you may think that needs this, get it, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's our message. Hit the Father's Day Blood Work Special. You females take advantage of it too. Make sure you uh -huh. mention Cupid's Corner for Sharice. And we're going to be back to you guys every Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC. If you guys don't watch it live, DVR it. Or if not, go to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, and watch all the great videos. Hit for me, button. my wife, hit the subscribe <laughs> button, all notification bell. And we'll see you guys next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Bye, guys.